trials are next next week. They're only like nine, nine, ten days away. So we're just trying to freshen up, um, try to get a little bit of a peak going here. And And you know what they call Russian miles in Russia. I'm here with Coach Mark Coogan. Mark, uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing well down in Sedona, bright and early. Um, we have um, two groups working out today, um, 5K, 10K group and the 8, 1500 group. So like Heather McLean and Ellie Poirier are gonna do um, 800, 400, 400 times two. And then the other group's gonna do um, six, 800s kind of at 5K race pace. We're not really doing too much, too, anything too crazy because the Olympic trials are next next week. They're only like nine, nine, 10 days away. So we're just trying to freshen up um, try to get a little bit of a peak going here in a week or two so that's the plan so how would you say training has been going for the last couple of weeks uh i think it's been going really well <clears throat> you know like everybody's been pr and no one's injured so um i'd say everything's you know spot on right now and last question before the workout uh so for people who aren't very familiar with this area uh, why Sedona and not in Flagstaff for the workout? Well, I mean, Flag's 7,000 feet, so it's, it's pretty hard to run race pace up there. You know, it's even difficult there in Sedona. Sedona's like four or 5,000 feet, but it's just, just a little bit easier to go faster um, down here. I mean, the, the whole idea is to live high, train low, and that's, we're trying to do that the best we can. Here with Heather Clean, so you qualified in the 800 and 1500. Yes. So how are you preparing for both events? I'm just gonna take it uh, day by day. You know, I mean, it's lucky that the 1500 will be over by the time the 800 starts. So 
if I end up doing the 800, I'll have a few days to recover um, and bounce back. So yeah, just day by day. I'm not gonna think of it. Um, I'm thinking of it as one race at a time. And how was the workout today? Oh, it was a really great workout. It's actually, um, we call them Russian miles. It's one of my favorites actually. So usually during base training, we'll add a few more sets a little bit slower. But once we sharp, start sharpening up, um, we do shorter sets and faster reps. So uh, it was really good today. We went a little bit faster than we wanted to. That just means we we're pretty fit. So yeah. And you know what they call Russian miles in Russia? No, just miles. Just miles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, th one. thank you. So I'm here with the legend Ellie Perrier. Uh, so you qualified in the 5,800 and 1,500. Uh huh. Uh, what's the plan for the trials? Uh -huh. um, I'll be running. I'll be signed up for all of them. Um, hopefully, focusing on the 1500. But if something goes bad, you know, I'll be doing the other ones. <laughs> and um, obligatory uh, question: Whenever anybody interviews you, they they always ask about the farm. Yeah. So how was it uh, growing up on the farm? Oh, <laughs> um, it was great. You know, I I loved the fact that I grew up on a farm, but um, I miss it a lot when I'm out here. And from Vermont, you went to the University of New Hampshire. Was there any bad blood there because the two states are kind of rivals? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably a little bit, but um, you know, people are still supportive at home, but I always root for uh, UVM basketball still. <laughs> and last question, uh, Vermont, you know, they, have, they make a lot of maple syrup. Yeah. So what is your favorite syrup delivery device? Delivery device. You know, you have the the three big ones are French toast, pancakes, and oh, waffles. Oh, 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 of course, French toast. Yes, those are that's my favorite. Yeah. Well, thank you, and great workout today. <laughs> thank you. So you recently just qualified for the trials in yeah. the 5,000, and it looked like it was pretty emotional. Could you just describe how you felt when you crossed the line? Yeah, I um I knew that I could do it for a while, um for like probably like a year to a few months, and I think it was just something that was I was anticipating so much, and when I finally did it, I, it was just so. It was just one of those moments where you feel like, gosh, everything I worked for paid off and everything was worth it. So um, bad days, good days, it all made it worth it. So yeah. <laughs> How would you say the workout went today? Um, it was actually, we had a great workout today. Um, up here, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's some allergies, there's a lot of pollen, and so it's kind of just a game of figuring out how to best manage that. Um, so yeah, sometimes we have to be cognizant of that, but um, it was great. We didn't really go to the well, we just wanted to feel smooth and fast, and that's what we did. <laughs> and last question, mm -hmm. what would you say your favorite pair of New Balance shoes? Oh my goodness, what a question. Every Everything is good. Everything they make is good. Um, I've been running in the 880s for like five years now, and so each 880 gets better and better, I'd say. Every new version they make gets better and better. Um, in terms of in terms of like a workout, anything like the fuel cells are great. Any kind of fuel cell you could buy yeah. is good too. Um, big, yeah. big fan of the fuel cell rebels. Yeah, oh my gosh, so good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what do you think? Definitely my favorite shoe. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I've gone through like four of these, so. Yeah, you can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank yeah. you, Millie. Yeah. Great job thank today. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Well, Coach Coogan, how did the workout? go to that. I, I think it went pretty well. I mean, I'm happy with um, where everybody is and how they felt today. Um, we went bright and early to try to beat the heat, but um, Ellie and Heather went a little bit faster than um, I was hoping for, but they both said they felt pretty good, so that's that's nice. And then Katrina and Millie did six times 800 at 5K pace, and uh, to me they looked really good. I was saying to them, I thought that might have been their best, you know, session where they stayed under control all spring up here uh, at altitude. So yeah, happy. That's great. And a couple other questions uh, unrelated to the workout, but you competed in the Olympics and now you're coaching. Uh, hopeful Olympians. So which made you more nervous, like lining up at the start line for the 1996 Olympic marathon or like when you were in Doha yeah. for Ellie's Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, 15. obviously I was excited when I ran the Olympics and, and nervous at the same time, but I'd say like, like the, the people on my team, they want to they do really well at the Olympic trials. So I find this 
like a little bit harder on me, you know, emotionally because I know how badly they've been training, how hard and how badly they want it. And they've been training really hard for four or five years for this. And, you know, not everybody's going to make the team. And so it's, it's going to be tough. But a couple of people could make the team and that will be really exhilarating and fun. But it's it's tough. It's really tough to watch people race that you care about. And like, and I really care about this group. Last question. This is a very important one. Uh, this could change the opinion of all the viewers. What's your favorite item from Taco Bell? Oh my goodness. I have to tell you the truth. <laughs> I haven't gone there that often. Like, they have the Chalupas. They, they still they asked, do. Yeah, yeah they, came back on, they came back You know, during the NFL playoffs, so I saw that, I think. So I would go with those, I think. Well, that's still a good answer. Thanks, Mark, and you thank you for allowing me to film your workout. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, everybody, so that was the end of their workout. Ellie and Heather were doing 800s and 400s, I believe, and their paces were about 215 for the 800s and 65, 64 for the 400s. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And then for Millie and Katrina, they were doing 6x800 at about 230. So that is definitely fast. And when I posted on Instagram, one of my friends asked, why wasn't I doing the workout with them? Well, it's because I would have gotten dropped. So the inquiry of the episode is if you could run with any professional runner, living or dead, who would you choose to go for a training run? Assuming that they would be running your pace. Let me know below. I honestly don't know which runner I would choose to run with, but there are so many elite runners that it would be just an awesome experience to get to run with them. So thank you so much for watching. Live life to the max, run to the max. I'll see you in the next video. And the next video is going to be exciting. It's going to be another one of these following the elite runners uh, pursue their workout. So this next video will be fun. What's your favorite item from Taco Bell? Oh, my favorite item from Taco Bell? Uh, I don't know if they have the nachos bel grande anymore, but I used to get that. That's respectable. Yeah.